Yes, yes, people. <laughs> Look at my kitchen. Look at the state of the kitchen. Kitchen looking mad. I took up all the tiles today. And I'm going to start tiling the kitchen floor tomorrow. So I'll finish it in a couple of days. I just wanted to make this quick video. It's one of my former work colleagues' birthday. My brother, the way. I worked with him and we done our apprenticeships together. A few days ago, I was watching a podcast. One rapper that I grew up on. He started doing podcasts. And I ain't got to fling no names, but if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. He's on a podcast. Him, his bridge and one gal. Someone popped the question, do you think it's possible to turn your life around if you've been down that road? And I'm like, is, it, is this even a question? Like, you look serious. Is someone seriously asking this question? Because there's some people, they think, not necessarily because they come from that lifestyle. There's certain people, they think they can't turn their life around because they're a certain age. Listen, it's not over, you know. It's never too late. You're not too old. My brother, Dwayne, listen. There's certain people, right? Once they get to a certain age, they think to themselves, boy, I'm too old to turn my life around. You see, my brother, my man was doing an apprenticeship. He started an apprenticeship when he was like 29. When I met him, he was like 30. He was the 30 year old apprentice. There's certain men out here, they'll be like, nah, you know what? I've got too much pride to be someone's apprentice or whatever. And they will just continue doing their foolishness. You see, my brother, I've got a lot of respect for him because a lot of people out here, they would not become an apprentice at the age of 30. Certain people, they might be too embarrassed to become an apprentice at the age of 30. And that's how certain people, they don't grow, they don't elevate the car, they don't want to make that sacrifice. Well, sacrifice has to be made if you want, you know, reach new levels. It's not over. It's never, you're never too old it's never too late imagine a man come from having no qualifications to now boom man's a fully qualified electrician can't tell him nothing go any country in the world you know anyone will want to employ him you know why because he's got a skill he's not some guy just trading on forex doing his local rent to renting he has a skill, he has a trade. He's useful to the world now. For me, it was easy for me to get into an apprenticeship because there's no pride to him. Because I was 19 when I started, but being an apprentice at the age of 19 and being an apprentice at the age of 29, 30 is a big difference. Especially, imagine that your late 20s, you ain't gonna be on no big money, you know, you're gonna be on some. Yeah, you're going to be working for peanuts, but again, you have to make sacrifice. You're going to have to work for peanuts for a little bit. Then you can earn the big bucks. So you might be on £7.50 an hour for a year, two years, three years. But one day, boom, once you get that ticket in your qualified construction site, £250 a day, easily, no problem. Do you know how many men out here I know? 29, pushing 30, no skill, no education, no value to this earth whatsoever. You see that man there? You can't have a conversation with them man about getting a mortgage and buying a property, you know? The first thing they do, they red tape that, ah, oh, who wants to own a property, man? Ah, oh, buying into the white man's, but this is what man say, you know? Buying into the white man's thing. Do you know why they talk like that? Because they know they're not in a position, they don't even have a proper salary. They, 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 they don't have stable income. Me, you know me, I don't promote this uh, working for an next man, but they're not even in a position to have a good, stable career to the point where they can save up a lot of money, get a mortgage, the car they employed, and buy a property. And you know why they're in that position? Because they don't want to make no sacrifice. They don't want to go to uni. They don't want to become an apprentice and become mechanic or electrician or plumber or gas engineer. They don't want to make sacrifice. Well, these are going to be the man who just jumping from little money making scheme here and there. 
You know, do you know, do you know that man they are equivalent of? You know that man that you used to go to college with? And one minute they're doing accounting, next minute they're doing carpentry, next minute they're redoing their GCSEs. Like, that's how a certain man are. And it's so simple. All they need to do, if, if you want to make something of yourself, forget about all this, oh, being an entrepreneur or whatever, isn't it? If you want to make something of yourself, just make some sacrifice. Either go to university, get a degree, get a decent job, or become an apprentice, learn a trade, mechanic, gas engineer, electrician, cop, whatever in it. It's so simple. But man are lazy, man don't want to make no sacrifice. And then man want to holler about oppression and this. No, you're oppressing yourself. You are oppressing yourself. It's too easy out here. If you're not making nothing of your life, it's because you ain't willing to put in the work, innit? End of story. But yeah, salute to my my dog, the way, innit? Yeah, God, he inspired me to make this video because there's people out here, they think that, you know, you, you might be too old or this might be your background. Bro, you can turn it around. You can turn it around. I'm not the only one, you know? <laughs> I'm not the only one. There's others out here, innit? Stay wise.